Hello and welcome back to AppGeeker channel. In this video, we're going to get you back if iOS 15 FaceTime is not working. FaceTime is great for delivering a smooth video chat experience, but in some moments, after the upgrade, FaceTime problems appear. The app appears to show a black screen to get failed to display the person on the other end of the call or to deliver poor video quality. If you're unable to FaceTime anyone for its freezes, lags, or crashes after updating the iPhone to iOS 15, then it's mostly likely that some glitches come with iOS 15, and here are some techniques to fix FaceTime that stops working or goes awry. We're going to apply iOS system recovery software form AppGeeker as the first and ultimate solution. It could troubleshoot most of the iOS bugs and get any apps to work without any glitches. Well, open iOS system recovery tool. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. On the software screen, choose more tools at the bottom left corner. The toolkit offers three major functions for managing iOS device and to fix FaceTime not working issue, click on iOS system recovery tab to move on. The software is self-explained and you should find many errors including issues with FaceTime and any other apps on the iPhone. Click Start button. Then, check your device information and click Fix button. The next step is to select a repair mode. I got it to choose Standard mode and then click Confirm button. Now come to the last step. We'll need to opt for a firmware package to download it for the iPhone. Make sure to select the most recent version and click Download button. All done! The software is now downloading the firmware in a few minutes, followed by repairing iOS. Once the process is finished, FaceTime should be working as normal. You could open FaceTime app and try starting a call with someone else to see if the problem fixed. It's not a wise option to downgrade iOS, and it's now impossible to downgrade your iPhone to any earlier version as Apple stopped signing older iOS for all iPhones once the latest iOS has been released. You can go to IPSW Downloads website to check which software is available. Alright, you've probably tried the basic checks when the error emerges in FaceTime app. I'll go over one by one, and after each method, restart FaceTime to see if it works. Now, restart the device. Simply turn off the device and turn it back on. Then, force restart the device to refresh the system and get rid of minor glitches. For iPhone 10 or later with Face ID, press and release volume up button, do the same for the volume down button, then press and hold the side button until Apple logo appears. When the device boots to home screen, open FaceTime to see if it still has problems. Method 4 is to check at FaceTime settings to see if the app has been enabled. Go to settings app, scroll down and tap FaceTime, then switch on the toggle for FaceTime. If you see waiting for activation prompt, turn FaceTime off and then turn it back on to reactivate the function. Sometimes, logging out of FaceTime and then logging back in can help fix issues. In FaceTime settings, tap on Face ID and then choose Sign Out when prompted. Once you're signed out, tap Use your Apple for FaceTime and then enter your credentials to sign in again. The next technique is to update your device if it's not running the latest version of iOS. Go to Settings app, tap General and then tap Software Update. If there's a newer version available, tap download and install to get your phone updated and eliminate any glitches. In case the FaceTime has connection alerts or dropped calls, you'll need to check if you have a stable and faster network connection to make the video call. So method 7 is to ensure that cellular connection or Wi-Fi is on and that it's working properly. If the connection has been enabled but FaceTime keeps failing, then the problem should lie in your internet network. To troubleshoot FaceTime, try resetting network settings. In Settings, tap General, tap Transfer or Reset iPhone, tap Reset and choose Reset Network Settings. If the connection has been enabled but FaceTime keeps failing, then the problem should lie in your internet network. To troubleshoot FaceTime, try Resetting Network Settings. In Settings, tap General, tap Transfer or Reset iPhone, tap Reset and choose Reset Network Settings. All right, go to Contacts app, find the person with emojis in the name and whom you want to call, tap on it. Inside the contact info screen, tap edit on the top right position, then delete the emoji and tap done to save the change. Now, restart FaceTime and try to call this contact again. 
So, guys, these are all techniques for fixed FaceTime problems, and the app should work as usual. We hope any of trick is helpful for you, and hit the like button. To watch more useful videos like this, please subscribe to AppGeeker channel and hit the bell if you don't want to miss out our upcoming videos. Have a good time and see you next video.